Now, for more on that, let's talk to our correspondent Dan Collins in Lima, capital of neighboring Peru. Hello, Dan. Tell us more about what you've got from there, and can you feel it where you are? Well, the earthquake could not be felt here in, in Lima, where I am, which is the capital of Peru. Uh, it may have been, uh, there may have been some of them in the northern part of the country who were able to feel the earthquake. But just going back to what the Vice President, Jorge Clas, said uh, when, when he made this announcement, announcing that uh, 28 people have been confirmed dead, he said that uh, those are all in, mostly in coastal areas, 16 dead in the, in the city of Puerto Viejo, 10 in Manta, and two in, in Guayas, which is a province in which uh, the, main, the most popular city in Ecuador is based, Guayaquil. And uh, looking at some of the images of the, of the damage caused, uh, we can see that there was an overpass in the city of Guayaquil which collapsed onto a car and uh, a buckled uh, the roof of a shopping center. Uh, this was clearly a powerful earthquake. Um, the U.S. Geological Survey has said that it was uh, a shallow one and it was focused 27 kilometers away from a a small fishing village called Mutine. Um But this also, this earthquake was also felt inside the country, uh, in the capital, Quito, where residents reported feeling uh, the earth shaking for at least 40 seconds, and electricity uh, was, was lost in some parts of the, of the, of the capital, as well as uh, cellular phone coverage in some areas. Guayaquil's airport is, is closed as well for, due to communication problems, and uh, the airport in Manta, which is on the coast, where uh, 10 people were killed, is also closed uh, due to the control tower collapsing. So clearly this is a serious earthquake which has uh, uh, provoked shock uh, in, in, in Ecuador. And uh, to add that the emergency declared, as you mentioned, in six provinces in the country will mean that uh, exception status is brought in by the government, which means that the, it will have special powers in terms of mobilizing the military or hiring or buying uh, with uh, equipment or with the digging equipment or what have you without the normal procedures and also exercising control over information in the country so that the information according to the government is distributed properly and there's no misinformation uh, spread around as, as can happen in these kinds of uh, circumstances uh, in the panic which follows uh, a natural disaster of this kind. Thank you very much. Our correspondent, Dan Collins in Lima.